Alright, hi everyone, my name is Wayson and I am your host for this show called The Regacy Show. I am the owner of The Regacy Show and also at the same time I am an inspirational speaker and speaker on uh, Nitrate in Life, Six Times, Escape and etc. Okay? So today it is really, really, really my honor and pleasure to have my dear friend also my financial coach plus my mentor okay, who is also a super brand me coach personal branding expert mr eugene xia now let's welcome mr eugene xia <laughs> thank you so much wow hey, this is such welcome, a dear brother hey, such welcome, a dear brother welcome. thank you hey, so yeah. uh, Eugene, I'm, I'm, it's really my honor and pleasure to have you here today uh, for the second part of the show. And yes. also, one thing is, uh, before we begin, do you mind if you share with the audience who's watching right now? Yeah. Okay. Who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Eugene Xia. I am a personal branding coach. I founded the Super Brand Me Club, a group of like-minded people who just want to improve ourselves together through personal branding. Oh, okay, okay, wow. So, uh, so what is this super brand me all about? Do you mind sharing? Sure, sure, sure. Oh. They are essentially, to keep it super simple, they are just three pieces of the entire equation. Three pieces? Yeah. Oh, what and, is it? and all three start with the letter S. S. Yeah, oh, letter S, S not yes. A-S-S. Like S, Superman. Huh? <laughs> okay, okay. S. Yeah. All right, all right. So, wow. your okay. S for super brand. Oh, super brand. Okay. Uh, so, the first S is substance. Substance. Yeah, it's something that we all need to find within ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need to know what is our unique strength. Mm -hmm. What okay. value can we bring to the world? What contribution can we bring to everyone we meet every day? Oh. This is okay. what I call the core essence of super brand new. Oh. Without substance, okay. There's not much point going to any other things. Oh, yeah. okay. So just to clear the misconception, personal branding is not at all about how you dress. It is really about your substance. Oh, it's not about yeah. how you dress. No. Like uh, David Beckham, you always dress in in uh, in suits. Yeah. Uh, uh, sometimes even in in uh, uh, football jerseys and all. Yeah. It's, it's not about that. It's you should not. Yeah, you should not start with that. Some people, okay. they have no substance, uh -huh. but they dress like David Beckham. Okay. It doesn't help. Oh, okay. <laughs> it uh, doesn't help to dress like David Beckham. You uh -huh. should play soccer better than David Beckham. Uh, then you can dress like David Beckham. That's oh. fine. So okay. find your substance first. Okay. Yeah, whether okay. it's soccer, cooking, counseling, mm -hmm. uh, computing, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm sure everyone watching here right now has a unique substance. You need to discover it, be sure about it, True. and then True. hone it. Yep, For example, if you are good in cooking, uh -huh. you will say, yeah, I'm good in cooking. But are you good enough to be a Michelin star ah, chef? Yes, if yes, not, yes. then go for training. Be humble enough, go for training and True. continue to hone your skills so that you become the best in your chosen niche. Uh, so this is the first substance. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Can okay. I move on to the second? Sure, sure. Yeah. I don't mind. So the second would be style. Style. And right. again, style, immediately people think of, ah, oh, you need to dress like David Beckham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so style is essentially what impression you give people. What impression you yeah, give so people. Yeah, so they might okay. say that, oh, Eugene is a very engaging, humorous, and authentic person. That, uh -huh. That's my style. Yep, correct. Yeah, they are not saying that, hey, Eugene wore pink. <laughs> right, what kind of style is that? Yeah. But, oh, Eugene spiked up his hair. Yeah, okay. well, I mean, what? But, but spike, yeah. spike style is, yeah. is still quite, uh, it's quite, still quite a trend right now. I correct, correct. Yeah. I mean, I, I like my hair. You like my hair? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Your hair is it, like it's not nice. bad. It's yeah. not bad. But okay. I, I won't say that my hair is my style. Uh -huh. My hair is like that. Okay. Uh -huh. But I want to be known not for my hair. No, no, no. Okay. I want to be known for for being engaging, mm -hmm. being authentic, authentic, being okay. humorous. Mm -hmm. Correct. So this is what I want to be. So that's my style. It's more about yeah. your characteristics. Yes, like, yes. In, in a sense. Like yeah. if you sit down, if you're wondering, uh, what is he talking about? Mm -hmm. what's, what's my style? Then ask your friends, okay, to describe you. Oh. Ask your friends to write down 10 words to describe you. Okay, anyone watching, 
Okay. Yes. Describe you. Okay. And they will write, oh, he is a very no nonsense person, maybe. Ah, okay. Right. Or, mm-hmm. yeah, or he solves problems very quickly. Mm-hmm. Or he is creative. Ah. Yeah, so these are your style. It is related to personality, but not okay. confined to personality. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not hundred percent. Uh, it is linked to personality, yes. but it is not hundred percent meaning that oh, it is pers- your personality trait. It's not personality okay. only. Okay. Yeah, but it is of course related. So okay. for example, uh, I am, I am an extrovert. I will call myself an extreme extrovert. <laughs> yeah, extreme. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm an extrovert on steroids. I, I love to network. I love okay. to make new friends every day. Oh, every day yeah. I wake up, I say, I want to make a new friend today. Uh-huh. Yeah. So just now you said you are extrovert on steroids. So are you literally on steroids? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, just, no. just kidding. No, no, no. No, no just drugs, kidding. no, no drugs. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hey, by the way, I'm an <laughs> anti-drug ambassador. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, no, so, no drugs, no drugs. Right? Okay. Okay, so, so it is like on okay. steroids. And therefore, that's my style. But someone who is not an extrovert, yeah. well, you cannot say he has no style. No, no, no. True, true. So his personality is introvert, for example. Then he can yeah. come up with his own style. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, a very intellectual style. Mm-hmm. That people look at him, they feel that, hey, I can trust someone, this guy, to solve my problem. He's very intellectual. I can ask him, he's a walking encyclopedia. Oh. So, for example, that could be your style. If you want it, if you want it, okay? okay. Yeah, so you can ask your friends right now. And see, and start reading the words. Do they do these words resonate with you? If they don't, then maybe the style you want somehow is not expressed out. It's not communicated effectively to someone else. True. Right. But most of us, it's okay. For most of us, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, since I touched on the topic of introvert, introvert, I know some introverts who are super engaging on stage. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, there are some. Ex classmates, I know. Oh, yeah, not so convenient. To okay, okay, mention. okay. But okay. of course, we also know Cohen. Cohen Tan, my very good training oh, yeah, buddy. Cohen, a yes, lot of people yes. will know Cohen. He's a well known introvert, okay. but he's super funny on stage. He's super engaging. Oh, yeah. And he takes effort, he works hard at it. Yeah. So he knows that he wants his style to be engaging, so he does not let his personality stop him. Mm. So that's what I mean when I say it's related to personality, but not confined. Not confined to personality. You cannot use personality as an excuse to say, oh, I'm an introvert, therefore my style cannot be engaging. Okay. Who, who, says, who says? So my, my friend Cohen would prove it wrong. Okay, and okay. I just saw Vicky, our dear friend Vicky, <laughs> said he's an ambivert. What the heck is Okay, ambivert? okay. Next time interview Vicky and okay. ask him to explain why it's ambivert. Okay, but sure, no problem. Know. Okay. Uh, so I, I suppose he means balance. Balance. Uh, he oh, can okay. choose he can when to be, be extrovert, be. when to be introvert. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course, being an extreme extrovert, I do sometimes enjoy sitting down to read a book. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a human being. This is human being. Okay, okay. <laughs> human beings do that. Yeah, so okay. that's fine. But, I don't know. No, no, <laughs> okay, let's ignore, okay, let's ignore okay, Vicky. Okay, we, we will continue our conversation first. <laughs> okay, okay, so we are down to our second yeah. the style. So style, to put it simply, uh, is okay. the impression you give to people. Oh, that's right. How you yeah. carry yourself, okay. right? How you speak, and of course, it is related somewhat to how you dress, okay? And all this would give people a certain perception and impression, and that will cause people to write certain words about you mm-hmm. that they would write about someone else. Okay, so that that's style. So oh, that's good. Yeah. So that means like it's like uh, you you won't get to see a uh, president of a country to wear singlets and shorts and then doing things talk, right? In front of a uh, you know, Usually, usually. Yeah, that, that would be yeah. bad, right? I think, thanks for yeah. highlighting that. You know, <laughs> when, when we talk about chairman uh-huh. of a multinational company, yes. right, what impression do you have? Well, wearing suit, tie, or, or sometimes can be, you know, uh, bright colored shirts, stuff, stuff like that. Usually, usually yeah. it's suit, suit tie, yeah, yeah, yeah usually. Okay. But people like Richard Branson, <laughs> yeah, so you know, his, I mean, his substance is clear. Yes. Right? He is resilient. Yep. He is a, a extremely good entrepreneur. He runs many businesses. True. Yeah, that's his substance. Yes. Uh, and he's authentic. You know, he likes mm, to help yes. people. That's authentic. Yeah, yeah. Then his style is like quirky. You know, uh-huh. he's very quirky. Yeah. 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 So he does not let his title of being a chairman or CEO dictate how he should dress. Yeah. He decides to dress 
as a female stewardess. Oh. He goes ahead yeah, and do I was it. thinking of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He lost a bet, right? He lost oh, a yeah, bet. Oh, yeah, he lost so, a bet and yeah. he had to no choice but to be a female stewardess. I love it. I watched wow. that. I watched that video and I thought yeah. to myself, when I grow up, I want to be a female stewardess. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. That's not true, that's not true. Okay, so, so to, that's the example. And uh, Jack Ma, uh-huh, Ali Baba, same thing. Yes. Uh, during his huge convention, uh-huh. addressing his staff, most people will be suit and tie behind a rostrum, yes. saying that, oh, dear colleagues, I'm so honoured to present to you our quarterly results. <laughs> Hopefully no. Jack Ma didn't see yeah. this. Huh? <laughs> no, no, but he didn't do that. Oh, he didn't okay. do that. Okay, if okay. you go to YouTube and look for Jack Ma, uh-huh. he is on an elevated platform yes, with spiky hair, yes, just like shades, yep. shades, okay. coloured, uh-huh. green, red, and so on, okay. and singing a song. That's how he addressed his colleagues. So that's the style he wanted. Okay, okay. That's not so, his substance. So he doesn't sing well at all. You should watch this. <laughs> he, he doesn't sing well. Yeah, yeah. It, oh, it's horrible. Okay. So that's not his substance, but that's his style. Okay. Uh, so his substance obviously is again like Richard Benson, resilience, yes. entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. impact, innovation. Yeah, uh, but his style is quirkiness, mm-hmm. is okay. humor, yes. is inspirational. That's that's his style. Okay. okay. So we're clear with substance, with substance and, and style. style. What about the third okay. one? May the I know third, what is the third one? Yeah, the third S is the weakest for Asians. Very weak. Weakest. Yeah. Let me what give you an example. Some... Before I even say what the third S is, I give you some example. Sure. If no you problem. go to any SME owner, SME, SME owner, you know, small, small and medium SME. enterprise, yep, you go to their website, uh-huh. then you will see, you click about us. Uh-huh. About us. Okay? Uh-huh. What do you usually see? Uh, they will talk about how they, they have built this uh, company, what their company is about, and all this. Usually not the glorious part, usually uh-huh. just mission. Oh, mission, okay. Uh, vision. Mission, vision. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it will say when it started, some okay. history, uh-huh. right, which country it started. Uh-huh. They may state some certification, uh-huh. right? Yes. If engineering, yes. there's all this certification yeah, there. Yeah, then the ISO. Then they will state their, yeah. their title, mm-hmm. state okay. their background, like what gives them credibility to run that business. Probably you get that. Yeah. Very, very, very seldom. Very seldom. I've not seen much. Very seldom do you see behind that this person's heart. Okay. What motivated him to start this business? I mean, we know he wants to make money, yes, but yeah. surely that is not the only thing that motivates him. Yeah, true, right. True, true. So we don't we don't see that. And that needs to be solved. Uh-huh. But if you go to some Western businesses, yes. you see that. You see that. You know, spend some time after watching this video, go and research, go and find, go and, go and Google. Go and find out in your industry, mm-hmm. look at your competitor. When you okay. click on about us, mm-hmm. what do they say? Do they talk about the certification, the award, their track record, their clientele? Or, or this third S, which is story. Oh, story. Yeah. Okay. What is their story? What is your story? You know, what led you? in the past few years to be where you are now? What struggles have you been through in your life that caused you to empathize with your stakeholders and clients? And what secret did you have to make you succeed and reach where you are now? Your clients want to know that, but your clients will not ask you that. Most of us are Asians, we will not say, hey, can you share with us your struggles? Very few of us do. Yeah, it's it's a bit, a bit, Awkward, 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 yeah. Asian, right, especially yeah. if you are the founder of the company, people look at you, they don't want to say, hey, what's your struggle? Very, very few people do that. Yeah, they feel icy. Correct, right? correct. And, and they have yeah. that, that ego in them. Yeah. They do not want to share about that. You mean the, the founder? Yeah, founder. Uh, yeah, some are shy about sharing. I mean, uh, it's something very Asian again. Okay. We, we tend to split the business and the personal very, very clearly. So some of my workshops, participants come in and they share their personal story. Okay. And some are very forthcoming. They will just, hey, me, 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 and they share. Okay. Some are like, oh, nothing. What I'm gonna share? What? Nothing. Nothing to do with my business. What? I'm gonna okay. share. Then you have to make it mean something to your business. True. If you if you continue this way for the next ten years, you split your personal life, your personal struggle, your personal story from your business, you'll become a commodity. Um, your business will be 
become commoditized. People will discuss with you based on price. Because anyone else who can do what you do will easily eat your lunch. Oh, easily. But if you share your struggles, like Jack Ma, I mean back to Jack Ma, I, I love him. Yeah, he inspires me a lot. He, he is very inspirational. Yeah. yeah. So he can just share the business side, right? How he started Alibaba, mm -hmm. you know, how to right. run, cash flow, blah blah blah. Yeah. But he doesn't he share about when he tried to look for job. Oh yes. KFC. KFC, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. 23 people got it and <laughs> No no 23 went for the interview. Uh-huh. 22 got it. Oh yeah, 22 got it. Yeah. And then one didn't get it and that is him. <laughs> yeah, that was him. I yeah. mean why did he have to share it? What what has that got to do with Alibaba? You think about it? Nothing. Nothing to do with Alibaba, but he, Jack Ma, made it mean something. Yeah. He wants so, to show people that if he can be the one bouncing back like this, then he can make Alibaba great. Yep. That's true. his point. That's his true. point. It's just like uh, Tony Robbins. He yes. used to be a janitor, meaning a uh, AKA cleaner yes. in the toilet. Yes. So, and then after that, he he got to meet this mentor of his. Yes. And then yep. after that, this mentor really made him become one of the most powerful and the most successful speakers yes. in the whole entire world. And yep. now he's worth many, many millions, or yep. even almost to a billion. Are you meeting him for coffee next week? Uh, hopefully. hopefully. Uh, I'm waiting, okay. I'm hey, please, waiting, please invite waiting, me. I'm waiting for his reply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Anyone here who knows Tony uh, personally, please drop us a note. Yeah, yeah let, let's just hang out. You know, go KTV together. <laughs> <laughs> well, his his wife his wife uh, will be angry if he were to go KTV. <laughs> <laughs> what what kind of KTV are you thinking about? Hey, ah, okay, uh, okay, okay. My KTV is very clean. Very, okay. very clean kind of KTV. Alright, yeah. alright. Okay. Yeah, so, so the story element you need. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I don't want you to watch this as entertainment. Uh. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm this, not. This, uh, is, this is not just <laughs> entertainment. I'm not this a stand-up comedian. About yeah. Value, because yeah. legacy show is all about the value that we want to give to the audience. Yes. Be it you are a teacher, you're a nurse like me. I'm a psychiatric nurse as well, yeah. but I also am an inspirational speaker. Yeah. It, it, it applies for everyone, and also be it your student, your employer, or yes. your employee. Yeah. You can still watch this show yes. and to learn as much as I am right now. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we, we are not just gonna talk about personal branding for every 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 series, mm, but yeah. we will be uh, segmented it into different fragments as well. Yes. So once uh, once this uh, this video is done, uh, let you guys know more about what's gonna come up next for the third series. Well. Alright. So hey, not over, right? Over. No, 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 it's not okay. over. Okay. Well, I have something yeah, to say. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. No, okay. no worries, no worries. Yeah. There's so many things that we can learn today for this show. Uh, we have a lot of things to learn from this guru and my mentor as well. Yeah, there's so many things that we can learn. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, so just now you were talking about the three S's. And I thought about you. Well, uh, <laughs> about me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's sure. apply the three S on Mason. Okay? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Any thumbs up? No, no thumbs up. Heart shapes, heart shapes, thumbs up. I cannot find thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thumbs up if you want to hear about Mason's three S. Come on, Syed, are you, are you there? <laughs> you, anyone want to hear from the three S of Grayson? Yeah, yeah. Can I, I'll go ahead and, yeah, and say anyway, I'm very thick skin on. Yeah, so, okay. Grayson, number one, yes. your substance. Uh -huh. It's very clear that you are a specialist in mental health. Mental health. Yeah. When I sit beside you, I know next to nothing about mental health. Uh -huh. You know a lot. Okay, and day in, day out, you spend time at the IMH. Right? Yes. So you, you see patients, so that is your substance. Yeah. If anything to do with mental health, whether it is how it happened or how to heal it, we'll come to you. That's your substance. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Your style. Your style, you come across as a very earnest person. Oh, very earnest. You. The very first day I met you, I fell in love. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. The very first day, the very first day I met Grayson, I remember I immediately trusted you. Something about you. You know, some people, I won't name names, <laughs> when you see them, you just feel there's something not quite right. Like, if you don't, like, maybe you don't want to meet them for coffee, maybe you won't really pass them a certain project. You know, the trust is not there. There's something about them. Okay. okay. But you, 
I'll pass you everything, my house key. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> house key? Wow. Okay, okay. Really? Even not house key, I'll pass you my phone. Later, your wife will be jealous. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay not house key. Okay. Yeah, but I trusted you. Okay. Yeah, oh, I trusted thanks. you thanks on the Facebook Messenger. I remember. Yeah. That day uh, we were messaging, and then you yes. sent me your street stamps article. Yep. And spoke to me, and I trusted you. Yeah. So you come across your, your style. Your style is very trustworthy. Trustworthy. Okay. Yeah, okay. people who say, hey, Eugene, can I speak on your platform? Uh, I will say, sure, please, please hold on for a while and there may be a future opportunities. Yeah. But for you, the, I think yeah. one day or two days later, two days right? later yeah. yeah, three days later, you immediately gave me the opportunity yeah. to actually like, speak there. And I was like, wow, it, it, yeah. I, I've, never, I've always been thinking, like, wow, when can I actually go and yeah. speak to the adults? Yes. Uh, I've always been Yes, level, yeah, level. Yeah. Old, old people like me. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. You're not old yet, you're not old yet. <laughs> middle age, middle age. Yeah. Yeah. So that day, okay, so that leads me to your second style. Okay. Trustworthy. Are you, are you trustworthy? Oh yeah. Definitely. You like this as your style? Yes, definitely. Okay, very good. Yeah. Your second style mm-hmm. is inspirational. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so you were trustworthy, so I brought you on stage, you spoke. Yes. And then when you started speaking, very inspiring. We have one life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you were very inspirational, and that is your style. Would you say that's your style? Yeah, that, that's my style. And yeah. That's what I want. You know, I, yeah. I mean, like uh, having my story, having a lot of hardships in life. Yeah. You know, I want to inspire people to keep moving forward. Yes. And regardless of people's life is worse than mine or better than mine or yeah. the same as mine, yeah. I want everyone to be empowered, to be lifted up, because. You know, we are only given one life to live. Yeah. Right? We are only given one life to live and we are gonna be ourselves. We can I can't live as we did. Yeah, yeah, Jinsia we shouldn't can't be me. We shouldn't. And 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 I would like to, you know, to encourage everyone who are watching right now. Yeah. Okay? Ben, Vicky, uh, Jessica and, and, and the other people that's yeah. watching right now, David as well, to actually be you know, be motivated to and be inspired to actually make a change in the world around us, in the people around us, the environment. Be it when you get to see people who are very, um, very down or very upset, or, yeah. or you, you see that they needed some help. You know, just just give them a the help. You know, yeah. it, it doesn't have to be monetary. It, it can be just words of wisdom, life golden nuggets. Yeah. You know, like, Even without that. Okay, well, yeah. 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 Y
your story. Yeah, okay. I mean, you are very generous in sharing your story. You can choose not to. It is not yeah. a happy story. Yeah, it's it quite a not. sad story. Yeah, it is. Uh, and you are very generous to share your story. I yeah. want to thank you for your generosity. Yeah, you're most welcome. Yeah. And, and thank you for your compliments. Really yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> Some people you can see, they, they try to hide. If you ask yes. a bit of question, they hide. If you ask a bit of question, they hide. Yeah, but you don't share very openly, but still with full respect. Yeah, right. You correct. still have respect, respect about the person that yeah. brings pain to you. Yes. So that that's the part where I respect a lot because some people share story and they start putting other people down. But but you don't. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. So talking about the third S, which is story, for some of you who, who just joined us, you may not have heard. Yep. Substance, style, story. story. Yeah. So now we're talking about recent story, and your story is very dignified. It's a very dignified story. Okay. It does not put anybody else out down. It does not leave you up like on a pedestal. Yep. It is a very authentic story of suffering, yep. of struggles, yep. but also of triumph. Yeah. Yep. And sense. and also at the same time it is an ongoing story. You know, yep. Reason does not fake it. He does not say like, oh wow, now I've already achieved this. No, 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 no. He keeps that. telling people <laughs> that he is on his journey yes. to inspiring yep, twenty thousand, correct? Yes. Yeah. So everybody believes you because if you say I've already inspired thirty thousand, uh, there's another fifty thousand to go. <laughs> I mean, who's keeping check, right? Only you know. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you can say any number you like. Yeah, yeah. nobody's. There's no auditor. Yeah, yeah. In a sense. But you are very authentic. You you share exactly what you're struggling with, what you want to overcome, and yeah. your vision. Yeah. And so it inspires us to want to join you and support you. Oh, this yeah. Journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So for those who are watching right now, yeah. if you really like what we are watching right now, do give me a thumbs up or you can just comment below. And I saw some comments earlier. Yeah. And I'm really grateful for that. Okay. So yeah. And now that we have touched to the three S's, right? Yeah. And just want to ask you, like, because uh, people who are working as a teacher, for example, okay, or teacher, or teacher, as a engineer, an engineer, yeah, you know, nurse. having a job, so yeah. Um, how can they build their personal branding yeah. so that they will have a lot of opportunities? Not necessarily to be media opportunities, yeah. but opportunities to excel even more in their workplace. Okay. Yeah. First of all, you need to ask yourself where you want to go. Okay. okay there's right an exercise right. I like to do during workshops. Okay. I, get, I get participants to sit down and write down write your own Wikipedia entry. Wikipedia. Oh. Okay. That's usually for famous people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but you write down, write your own Wikipedia entry, take a piece of paper, okay. and write, you know, Eugene Xia is one of the most engaging, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you start writing. Mm -hmm. That is your aspirational Wikipedia entry. Ah, okay. Alright. Because if you don't know where you want to go, yeah. Then how are you gonna get there? Yeah. So start with that first. Okay. Don't, don't, don't start with changing yourself and all that. No, no, no. Start with your vision. Okay. Do this exercise right now. So let's say, let's say this particular teacher who is working in MOE or okay. engineer working in a manufacturing firm okay. wants to inspire people next time. Mm -hmm. Either as a consultant okay. or as a leader in his current firm. It doesn't matter, you don't have to quit. No, I'm not saying that you must quit in order to inspire people. You can stay where you are, but you want to maybe do slightly different things. Maybe okay. join the leadership and development team. Okay. You know, maybe become a manager, right? True. Or maybe become a super active contributor. Mm -hmm. right, there's a phrase for it. It's called intrapreneur. Intra. Intrapreneur, not entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, oh. you have to get out of the company okay. and then start your own. Intra is you stay in your same company uh -huh. and think like an entrepreneur. Ah, okay. Then you start adding to the bottom line of the current company you're at and your boss will take notice. They say, oh, wow, this person has been helping so many more people beyond his core duties. Hmm. That's so, like an intrapreneur. Oh, yeah, okay. You behave every day, make decisions every day as if the business belongs to you, although you are just an employee. And when you start doing that, you become inspirational. Ah, okay. yeah, but yeah. you must first decide, there must be intention. 
Yes. You must first decide, I want to be inspirational. Mm. That's just an example. I'm not asking everyone to be inspirational. Oh, you know, yeah. Some people don't want to be inspirational. It's perfectly yes. fine. There's no right or wrong. Yeah, but I know you want to be inspirational. Yep. You know, I want to be inspirational. Yes. So you need to first decide and then do something about it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. That's on a broad level. Yes. Let's go to tactical level. Tactical level. Does that help you? Tactical? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So tactical level, you have to then change your communication habit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. True, you cannot true. say, I want to be inspirational. I want to be manager. I want to be entrepreneur. But every day you do exactly the same thing. That doesn't oh. make sense. True. Nothing true. will change if what you do is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Right, you right. need to change what you do. Mm -hmm. So one example. How do we use Facebook? How? Most um, people, most people, okay. right? They use it for food pictures. Oh yeah, food pictures. Before lunch, food take day. a picture of your clay pot rice. Oh yes. Is it inspirational? No. But <laughs> it inspires a person to go there and eat the food. <laughs> I mean, that, it's not okay. wrong, it's not sinful. Just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not a crime. Uh -huh. But it does not fulfill the purpose that you set for yourself in the Wikipedia. True, true. Right, if you want to be inspirational 10 years later, then your Facebook post needs to be inspirational. Yep, correct. So for example, what you're doing right now is inspirational. You decided to use the same platform, mm -hmm. Facebook, yep. but in a different way. You're not posting food pictures. Yep, I'm not posting food pictures or, or clubbing. Yeah, or, or your pets. Anything. Yeah. Yeah, or travel. I mean, travel is fine, travel you know. Is so, okay. Travel yeah. sometimes is quite inspirational, yeah, depending yeah. on where you go. Yeah. yeah, but you're not doing that only. You are interviewing people. That was an intention that you had. Yeah. You didn't have to. Yeah. But I you didn't did. have to. But uh, this was what I intended to have last year when I spoke with uh, my two good friends. Mm. One of them is called Richard Ku. Richard Ku oh. is the uh, ultimate man coach who has his own uh, ultimate man podcast as well. M A N. M E N. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, he has been featured in many nice. many uh, platforms as well. You mm. can check it out as well. Cool. And uh, yeah, he's also a very systematic person. He likes to do help people with systems as well. And I also got to uh, talk to my friend who is the owner of this this uh, company called The Finest Man. So The Finest Man, man again. Yeah. Oh. Man again. Yeah. <laughs> so great. I mean, I'm anything man, for right? women or not? You say there are uh, women like Mabel, Chia, oh, yeah. watching. That's my girl. Anything for women? <laughs> uh, well, I. Super Brand Me Club. Ah, Super Brand Me Club. Yeah, it's one yeah. of them. Yes. So you can join. That one, yep. men, women, in between, all camp. Wow, in between. All, all. camp, yeah. Okay, wow, that's amazing. So yeah, yeah so, so I, I shared with them my, my, my vision of having my own podcast. I didn't know how, what I should do with it, how I can go about it. But all I knew was I wanted to have this show. And I was thinking about the, the, the name of it. And mm. I was thinking of uh, maybe like a Grayson Chu podcast. Nah, it's not so nice. Yeah. And then just nice when I was having my own uh, 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 project in my Advanced Diploma. Ah, okay. And then we had to do our own uh, very own uh, talk show in a sense. Oh, that's nice. So, so I was a host and we were discussing and my leader was telling me, hey, how about this? Uh, you always call yourself Regacy, Regacy, right? Huh? Why not we try this thing? Uh, then we start brainstorming, brainstorming, and aha, we had an aha moment at the Regacy show. Oh, and, nice, nice. And, and then we, we have it, and then, I love and, it. Then, and then I was thinking, hey, since I am known as Regacy in my Instagram, why not I make it into my own show? Yeah. And Regacy sounds like legacy, which yes. is intended that way because I want to leave a legacy behind and all this legacy has to start from within has yes. to start to create from within yeah. so I told myself why not why not uh, have this show the legacy show yeah. and see how it goes and I'm grateful that the first one was uh, with Mr. Andrew Chow yes yeah the, the, the personal branding ex one of the personal yeah. branding experts in Singapore as well I have and utmost respect for Andrew yeah we have we have yeah. and he's the best giver as well yes. and and yeah and, and then after that I realized that hey it's getting popular because it mm. has more than 200 300 four, 500 plus views oh nice nice yeah for the whole thing and, and I'm famous wow <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Okay. And uh, yeah, and, and I will be sharing the link later on below on the, on the comments and uh, 
the bio as well for this and yeah and I, I'm really grateful you know to, to, to know that hey whatever we want you know, we can think about and then we can bring it about yeah in front of us nice. so so I told myself why not just give it a shot yeah the legacy show and legacy wow. show nice yeah. and, I love and it now, now this is the second episode and there will be more episodes coming and I'll be having celebrities coming in yeah I'll be having directors that's coming in as well yeah. And I will be even have DJs that's coming in. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be even having people from overseas coming in as well. And yeah. there wow. are people from Australia asking me about this show. Oh, as lovely, well. lovely. So, so I'm really grateful. You know? Yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. And so, so yeah. And, and now that we know that you know, uh, personal branding is really important, it has always been important, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And even for people who are working sheet work, who are working, uh, uh, a 9 to 5 job, you know, yeah, and just ah, about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a major misconception. Yes. Because people think only entrepreneurs and celebrities need to have personal branding. Yeah. And then employees don't really need it. Yeah. That's a major misconception. Yeah. And you know how I know it's a misconception? Oh. Because I used to think that way. Used to think that way. And then I got retrenched four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah, four years ago I got retrenched. And I suddenly realized that all this time when I was building a brand and building a network for my company uh -huh. that I could not take away together with me. I okay. couldn't. Everything okay. stayed with the company and uh -huh. I left. Yeah, true. So yeah. I left with nothing. Yeah. I left with nothing. The, the, yeah. the stocks is still with them. The yeah. assets are still with them. Yeah. And, and, and the only thing that you have is maybe your desk uh, of, uh, of or maybe files, pictures that you put on the yeah. desk yeah, that you left with, right? So that was actually a very silly thing that I did mm -hmm. because I could have done something about my personal brand mm -hmm. while I was still in company true, true. and not with the intention to leave, no with the intention to build brand equity uh -huh. as an asset for myself so that, so that one day, even if I stay that brand equity can draw more clients for the company mm -hmm. but if I choose to leave then that brand equity stays with me mm -hmm. okay. then I can easily start a business join another company and I will have positive brand value yeah true that true. stays with me not stays yeah. with the company stays with me yeah so and that's after personal you, brand after yeah. you have left the company yeah. other people from other companies or even uh, maybe the media yeah. uh, they knew that hey this guy is so damn good mm. at what he does yeah. and he has been recognized for, for it before yeah. and then he started to leave this company because yeah, yeah, he yeah. wanted a brand new exposure and everything so we all need to think wider yeah wider so we cannot think that we are in this company in this department oh no 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 yeah. you are in a global industry yes the engineering global industry, the medical healthcare global industry. Yep, yep, yep. And you think that where are you in this ecosystem? Yes. How right. are you contributing to the transformation of this ecosystem? Yep. Correct. And if you reach there, if you are, then number one, you will have lived a very meaningful life. Yep. Right? True. You have left a legacy or yep. a legacy. Yep. <laughs> uh, and number okay. two, you will have contributed to the bottom line or yep. the top line growth of your company. Correct. And number three, your reputation will precede you. People will see you not as just Rayson, not just as Eugene, but a change maker yep. for that particular niche industry that you choose to belong to. Yeah, and, and when that happens, it doesn't matter whether you stay in a company or go out, yeah. you are a change maker. Yeah, and, and, and one thing is, because the Regency Show is not just local, because there are people, like what I said just now, there's Australians asking me, right? And they are quite good uh, property agents and etc. Okay? And they are very, very uh, wealthy, you mm -hmm. know, and they yes. want to be in this show. Yeah. So it means that we shouldn't just be thinking local. Mm -hmm. We should think global. Yeah. yeah. Because what we want, if we want to impact people's lives, right? It means that we can't be just thinking of impacting Singaporeans itself. Right? We want to think about the Africans, the yeah. South Americans, the North Americans, the, the, the Egyptians, the, the whatever, you know, whatever country that, that you want to uh, impact, you know, or North yeah. Korea or South Korea, you know. And, and we want to actually make sure that leaving a legacy doesn't mean leave it in Singapore itself. Look at leave what you want. If you leave it in Singapore, people from all over the world cry.
Mother Teresa, they all have made a legacy for themselves and name for themselves, not just in their own country. No, no, it's global. Even to today, after they have left this world yeah. for don't know how many up in years, okay, they are still remembered for whatever they have shared. I'm quite sure it's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, Malala, remember, remember, okay, it's not just old or dead people. Mm -hmm. It's not like you have to need another 30, 40 years to live a legacy. Mm, yeah, it can start right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I, I mean, yeah. some people watching yeah. in your 20s, yeah. some in your 30s, it doesn't matter. Don't give yourself the excuse. Like, oh, I need to be like Lee Kuan Yew, build another 20, 30 years. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Think like Malala. Anytime now, you believe in a cause, go ahead and make the impact. Mm -hmm. You believe in something, you do something about it. Like, oh, suddenly, come out with the Vegas shop. Suddenly, like me, come out with the Super Grammy Club. Yep. Just, who's, who's stopping you anyway? Anybody stopping you? Nobody, except the one that's watching right now. You, yeah. yourself. Our mindset <laughs> yeah. stop us. Yes. So just right. throw that old mindset away, just start making an impact, and then you will start your life of legacy and legacy. Yep. First of all, I must give this disclaimer. Uh -huh. I made many mistakes in my life. Okay, I don't want anybody to think that I'm a guru. I'm not guru at all. Okay? Okay. okay, I am a normal person. I'm trying to rebrand myself. Okay, because four years ago when I got retrenched, I was looking at my life savings go down, and I started to panic. There were four. There were there were only a few occasions in my entire life I can remember I cannot pay the bill. And that was that four years ago. I could not pay the bill. And I was thinking to myself, as a 38-year-old man at that time, how come I cannot pay the bill? You know what was wrong with me? Am I, am I stupid? Am I a loser? Why, why can't I pay my bill? I was very upset with myself. Then one day, all thanks to positive friends and attending motivational talks and watching a lot, a ton of YouTube videos, uh, some about like Danny Sakio, the one who started uh, yeah. 18 chefs, 18 chef. yeah. uh, like Nick, Nick 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 Nick. Yeah. without hands and yeah. legs. Uh -huh. So I, I watch a lot of videos, even okay. Singaporean uh, Jason Chi, oh, Jason who had Chi, a Navy yeah. accident yeah, yeah, yeah. and managed to bounce back and win. He, he won gold, gold medal yeah. for table tennis, representing yeah. Singapore. Then it made me wake up. Okay. He said, hey, and low savings is really nothing to be shameful of, nothing yeah. to shout about. It's like people who lose their limbs, people who suffered cancer, people yeah. who went through divorce. I mean, there are lots of worse things in life than just being retrenched. Yeah. So all this helped me to pick myself up and I decided in order to feed my family, I need to rebrand myself. Yep, correct. That's why I started Super Brand Me Club so that I could brand myself and not just selfishly brand myself yep. but help others to brand themselves mm. so that together as 
we are almost like Avengers. You know? All of us come together, <laughs> yeah. and we will be superheroes, and then we can make a major impact mm -hmm. on other people's life. Yeah. I, I cannot do anything myself. True, true. That's why I wanted to say I'm not a guru. Okay. I am someone like you, going through this journey of discovering what can I do as a person in my own sphere of influence, using my own substance. What can I do? so that I can make a greater impact. Yeah. And that's why style comes in. Because okay. with your substance, without style, you cannot make an impact, you cannot. Yes. Because people don't trust you, people don't like you, people will not come to you, then how to make an impact? Yeah. They're forever, forever begging like, hey, please, yeah. please watch my Regacy show, please. <laughs> uh, please, please, come to my Super Brand Me Cup, please. How to make impact this way? People treat you as a beggar. Yeah. But with proper styling, people come to you and say, hey, can I join? Yeah. Your Super Grammy Cup. Can I be interviewed by you on your legacy show? Yeah. So that's your style. Yes. Then, then you can make an impact. And the authentic impact comes when you share your story. Yeah, true. Sure. So can you see how these three S, substance, style, story, form together to create your legacy? Yeah, it, 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 it has really uh, been a huge journey, I would say. Yeah, Especially yeah. my parents have been with me and they have gone through the Okay, okay. Yeah, last year or last, uh, last two years back where, where there was a nurse who went the... Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, went the so what, what happened to you? Well, what happened to me was because I was very inexperienced. Oh. Right? I was very inexperienced. I, I, went, I went into a Japanese clinic to start off. You know, I went into a Japanese clinic to start off as a nurse, which was the wrongest thing to do for me. Oh. Yeah, because it's not 100% wrong, wrong to actually start off as a uh, graduate from, from a nursing school and then go into a clinic. But it would be best if you go into a hospital to gain more experiences before you okay. go into a private clinic to actually work. Yep. But I wanted to jump and to, to you know to take that leap, you know, to, to jump as high as I can. Yeah. And, and I thought you know I could just go and saw high. Yeah. But I forgot about this thing called Step yeah. by step, I forgot about uh, like what uh, Chris Gardner. I'm not sure if you've heard of him. Yes. Yeah, he told me before on uh, Instagram, baby steps counts. Mm. So yeah, I, I forgot about baby steps. I just went straight up. You know, I just went straight up and I got fired. And and nobody knew about this, as, uh, especially those who just read my my interview with millennials of Singapore. Uh. Uh, yeah, they they only know the the front part about my childhood, but they have not heard about. Yeah. So yeah, my adulthood also had a lot of struggles as well. And after being fired, I broke up with my ex girlfriend. Right. And about one, two, to three weeks time, yeah, everything just went haywire. My mom had a bad job. Everything just went haywire. And and I, I I was shortage of income as well. And I did not know what to do. So you know, I I I, I just well, I just told myself, hey, man, life is not. Joel 
background from addicted to success, uh, reading the articles from addicted to success as well, and uh, reading books like from uh, uh, T. Hub Edgar, people like uh, Robert Kiyosaki, people yep. like uh, Robert Greene, for example. All these people, I just kept reading and learning and going for conferences as well, and I just kept in, up my game, just kept improving myself and kept networking with like-minded people, yeah. people who are extremely successful or they are on the way towards successful, uh, to, towards their own success. So I just mix and learn as much as I can and I'm grateful that till today, you know, I'm still learning and I'm still improving and I am becoming slightly better than last year. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for all these opportunities. You're amazing, man. Oh, thanks, really. thanks. thanks. Yeah. I mean, sometimes we just need to go through struggle. Yeah, I think we have to. It's, it's sad but true. You know, yeah, for I, a person with yeah. a smooth, very successful life, yeah. we just take things for granted. We, we stop growing. Yeah. yeah so there's a, there's a concept called corporate zombie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, gave, a, I, gave, I gave a TED talk on it. Uh, corporate zombie. Yeah, I won't be... I wouldn't re- give that talk but the whole point is that when things are too smooth too comfortable and we are only driven by salary then we start to die inside yeah true yeah true. so then suddenly we need a wake-up call so for yeah. you you had a wake-up call yeah for me four years ago i had a wake-up call and for some people maybe it's a health related wake-up call yep. marriage related wake-up call children related wake-up call and then we start to wake up and then we start to live life yeah yeah, so it's sad but true. Yeah. So if nothing has happened to you yet, uh, connect with us. We'll make sure something happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> just joking, just joking. No yeah. hold it against me. Okay, yeah. so now that we are coming to the end of the show, yeah. uh, I just want to ask you, okay? If okay, today is the last day of your life, yeah. okay? if today is the last day of your life, mm. living in this earth, okay? yeah. Everyone who has given you life, who has given you meaning in your life, okay. everyone who has ever helped you because they love you, not because of your title, yep. not your position, yep. not your wealth or success, mm-hmm. but because of you. So for me, I will hug my mom, uh-huh. my dad, me too. my wife, okay. or my three lovely, lovely, lovely children. <laughs> Thank you for being part of this show. I yeah. really appreciate it. So for all those who are watching right now, yeah. you can actually follow Eugene at uh, EugeneSia.com. EugeneSia.com and Eugene E U G E N E and then Sia is S E A H. There's okay. a lot of S in my life. Ah, yeah. My, my surname also S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then uh, how about your social media? Ah, okay. Please, I, I love friends. I love friends. Uh, so just connect with me on Facebook. Just look for Eugene Xia. You will see my face together okay. with my son. Oh, okay. uh, and both of us are wearing helmet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Eugene okay. Xia. And okay. also connect with me on Super Brand Me Club. Super Brand is one word. Mm-hmm. Me is a separate word. Okay. And then Club. Super Brand Me Club. Oh, okay. And please, nice. it is not about personal grooming. Okay, Super Brand okay. Me, not about dressing. Okay. Once in a while, there'll be an article about dressing, but vast majority are about inspiration. Okay. About finding your inner substance. Oh, oh yeah. nice. So please join so Club. Okay, so for those who are watching as well, if you love this content, if you like this content, okay, press the like button below, or you can even comment, okay? And also at the same time, you can share to your friends, to your colleagues, to your loved ones who are watching this and who need this right now. Oh, I would like to add value to the people who watch yep. because I believe I want to respect their time. You know, okay, they, sure. they are not doing something else. They are watching this. Yep. So I want to respect your time. Yep. Uh, please post any question you yep. want. I will just answer it for free. Well, you know, yeah. Because usually well, I do coaching or yep. I run workshops, but because 
you respect me, I respect you, and yep. now together we want to respect you. Yep. Okay, for watching. So yep. I want to answer any question that you post below, I'll answer for you. Yep, and yep. if you have anyone that you would like to recommend, okay, uh, to, to the Regacy show, you would like them to be on the show, you can click, uh, you can actually type in under the comments, you can let me know who you want to actually be, uh, be on the show, okay? It doesn't matter whether is it The Rock or, or, or is it going to be Tony Robbins or is it going to be anyone else that's huge high profile celebrities. I believe, you know, uh, with faith and uh, a lot of uh, commitment, yes. dedication, I believe I can get them on this, on this show. Yep. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching and last but not least, do follow me on my Instagram, Ragacy, R-A-Y-G-A-C-Y and also my Facebook page, R-A-Y-G-A-C-Y, where you get to see a lot of motivational quotes, a lot of uh, inspiring uh, stories or even this show like this okay, on this channel okay yeah i'll also post it on my youtube channel i'll let you guys check it out as well okay yeah. so thank you very much for watching so i'll just uh, like to say thank you for those who are watching right now warwick thank you for watching lipo john my coach Val, uh, Val, john Val is the one who who is from the finest man so he's oh, the nice one, nice he's the one that i told him that wow. i want to have the quite uh, handsome huh? yeah yeah he mm, is that nice, i want nice. to have this uh, show <laughs> you know and jamal uh tanda oh wow, nice nice samuel is oh you have a lot of good looking Helmi. friends yeah nice nice uh, yeah. my stepmom <laughs> ah nice well. nice wow wonderful. and then uh nurse tan uh my teacher my lecturer janet uh oh my classmate as well well thank you my girlfriend mabel uh, uh my secondary school teacher was watching secondary school teacher yeah yeah mr fatu hi hello oh, amazing and, uh, thank you very much for watching andrew my uh my godmother may uh, may chan was watching as well wow. thank you very much amazing. uh wow ben david uh jessica wow nice why okay why ace <laughs> okay why ace thank you for watching Syed. Syed, hey, 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 brother, brother. Uh, Peter, Syed. and then Cassandra Raj wow. will be on nice. the show soon uh, she's the nitrate live dj as well thank wow. you for watching Andrew, adrian, adrian adrian hey sam thank you for watching vicky wow vicky Suzanne, thank you nicholas Ooh. nicholas ong is uh, also an inspirational speaker as well oh awesome uh, angeline go wow thank you shen long oh nicholas i know nicholas yeah, yeah i've seen oh, him oh, before yeah, yeah. Oh, wonderful and then oh. uh uh, my god brother Chi Hui and then yeah. Rina Kai Hi. Oh Wow uh, Mr. SG100 founder Tay. Mr. Tay Kok no, no, uh, Chairman Chairman oh, SG100 chairman. Chairman. chairman Okay Mr. Tay My bad my bad Julius salute, salute. Julius is the uh, he used to be uh, a patient of uh, IMH and now he became a peer support specialist Wow he helps uh, those patients respect. to recover Wow thank you for watching respect, respect. Uh, and then uh, wow Charmaine uh, ah. Nazoko is from uh, from America as well. She she is a motivation coach as well oh, from nice. America. Said my uh, my lecturer from Nanyang Poly. Oh nice. Uh, Joyce, Joyce. Say, see you tonight eh, for yeah. supper. Okay. okay. Kaden. <laughs> wow, Kaden. Uh, Shinarom. Utmost respect. Yeah. Kaden. Utmost yeah. respect to Kaden. Yes. Wow. Thank you very much for yeah. watching. I attend. Kaden, you, you don't remember me, Kaden, but I remember <laughs> you. Okay, yeah. I I heard you on stage for three hours and my tears just flowed. Yeah, Thanks for impacting my life. Investor that has impacted so many people. Uh, you can also follow him as well. Yes. And Joanne, Justina, my Ellen, colleague, Ellen, Roger, Roger wow. as well. Thank you awesome. very much for all this support. Okay? Wow. Thank you very much. And so many lovely people yeah. ready to change the world. Yeah, Geraldine, Priya, who just joined in. Thank you very much for watching this. So, ready to change the world. Yeah, so hopefully you guys no not just hopefully i believe you guys have been inspired definitely yeah definitely. thank you very much 